Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software and on today's video, Outputting to the Cart Window, I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up and use the cart window as an output for any client who may benefit from it. The cart window is available to all Eclipse users. It doesn't require any special equipment, however it is a local only service. When you utilize the cart window in Eclipse, as soon as you begin real time and begin writing, a new window that contains all of the information you are writing will appear. This window is the cart window. The cart window is completely self-contained within Eclipse, and it does not require any special devices or hardware in order to utilize. Since the cart window is a local service, it also does not rely on the internet, and because it's a self-contained screen, that can be dragged anywhere on your computer, you can use the cart window with systems like projectors or anywhere that you're able to broadcast your screen or one of your secondary screens. The cart window is a simple output to set up and a simple output to manage. The cart window allows you to ensure that all of your clients have accessibility to the transcript when they need it. And as I stated before, the cart window is available to all Eclipse translation users. As long as you can translate, you can output to the cart window and ensure that all of your clients can access the data that they need when they need it. I'm going to stop this sample and I'll show you how to set up the cart window. The cart window is a simple output format. In order to set it up and use it, you do need to go to your user settings, to the real time tab, and you would need to add a cart window output format to the output format section. I don't currently have any output formats, so I'm going to click Add. And for the output, I'm going to choose Cart Window. You see that this has automatically set my communication device to None. Since the Cart Window is self-contained within Eclipse, you don't need a COM port, file sharing location, or the Connection Magic server, or any IP address in order to use it. Simply set the COM device to None. For basic Cart Window setup, this is all that's necessary, and I'm going to press OK. You see that my output format doesn't say anything except cart window because it's not broadcasting to a COM port, IP address, or the connection magic server. There's no connection information for it to display here, and so none is displayed. As soon as I start a real time file, the cart window opens up automatically. At this point, the cart window can be dragged to any other location on my screen or if I have another monitor, it can be dragged entirely off screen and onto that monitor. This also works if you're hooked up to something like a projector. As long as Windows recognizes the screen that you want the cart window to display on as a secondary display, then you'll be able to simply drag the cart window to that display and adjust it to fit on that screen. The cart window itself is customizable. If I right click in the cart window, one of the options that I get is maximized. And after maximizing the screen, you see that now the cart window has encompassed my entire screen, but the font is still very small. And so if I do want the cart window to be this large, I can adjust the font size in order to accommodate that enlarged screen. You can also adjust the font type and I can make it even bigger if I'd like. And you see that now, the font is taking up the entire screen. You can make the font so large, such as in this instance, where the right-hand side of your lines are being cut off. And so in this example right now, my font is too large, so I'll need to click the font button and downgrade to a more reasonably sized font. I can type in a font number in here that I'd like to try out. And so it looks like for this size screen and with this font, font size 60 allows me to get every character on every line. Once you have your font, font style, and font size selected for the cart window, those settings will remain. You don't have to set them job by job. For right now, I'm going to set my font back down to a more reasonable size. In addition to just adjusting the size of your text, when you right click in the cart window, there's also an option to adjust the spacing. Single spaced spacing is 100%, double spaced spacing would be 200%. You can adjust the spacing so that it best reflects what will fit well on your screen. 
For what I have here, 100% works well, so I'm not going to adjust mine. The last two options within the cart settings window when you right click in the cart window are smooth scroll and always on top. I've sped up my output a little bit and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I turn smooth scroll off. Personally, I think that the output is easier to read with smooth scroll enabled. And so this is what it looks like with smooth scroll disabled. And you see that it's a little bit jumpier. Each line sort of pops on the bottom and pops the top line off. Whereas with smooth scroll enabled, each line rolls off the top of the page and the look of the window is a little bit more natural. However, you may have clients that prefer one method versus another. And making a change to the scrolling mechanism is as simple as checking or unchecking this box. The last option is always top window. If this is checked, the cart window will always be on top of Eclipse like it is right now. I'm currently working in Eclipse, moving around in Eclipse, and the cart window is above my cursor. If I turn always top window off, you see that the cart window can be hidden behind Eclipse. Whether or not you have always top window turned on is completely a preference. And some instances it may be desirable where other instances it would not, depending on the type of setup that you're working with. And you see that the cart window has continued accumulating information. I'm going to go ahead and turn always top window back on. Although you can right click in the cart window and choose maximized, in order to maximize the cart window. There may be some instances where you want to make the cart window bigger, but you don't necessarily want it to take up an entire screen. If that's the case, you can simply place your cursor in the lower right hand corner of the cart window and left click and drag the window to any size and shape that works for you or for the screens that you have available. You may find some instance where you only have a little bit of an available screen in order to provide your captions. And if that's the case, you can make sure that your captions are large enough to go across the screen. You can use the click and drag method to make the cart window as big or small as you need to and to conform to whatever space is available. This combined with adjusting the font will ensure that whatever you have to work with your clients will be able to see all of your text. The last option that I want to show you in relation to the cart window is how apply edits works. I'm going to close out of this file and I'm going to start a new real time file. However, before I do that, I'm going to go to my real time tab of my user settings and I'm going to select my cart window output and click change. I'm going to choose apply edits and press OK to turn that feature on. This will apply edits that I make to my document to show up in the cart window if that area of my transcript is still on screen in the cart window. I'm going to start a new real time file. Here you can tell that apply edits are on or off easily because when apply edits is on your cues and A's as well as your speakers will be colored as they are in the document. However, with apply edits turned on, I also have the option to edit any of the text that's currently on the screen in the cart window, and those changes will be reflected within my document. So for instance, if I change exhibit three to exhibit 33, you see that that change is reflected in the cart window and it's reflected immediately. Again here, you see that the name Adrian is misspelled. I can type in the correct spelling, add that to my job dictionary, and every instance of Adrian on screen was immediately corrected in the cart window. If you do edit your document while you're working and you plan to use the cart window, I definitely recommend that you have apply edits turned on. The only time that you do not want to use apply edits with the cart window is if you're going to be translating your output into a different language. If you are going to use the Google Translate feature with your cart window output, it's important to remember to turn apply edits off in version 9 of Eclipse. By default, the cart window will always use the margin settings that are found in your document. The force margin setting does work on the cart window. However, as always, it's not recommended that you use the force margin settings unless you have multiple outputs that have conflicting margin requirements.
And so it's recommended that when using the cart window, like with other outputs, that you have your paragraph margin set in the paragraph tabs of your user settings prior to starting. Using the cart window is incredibly easy, and since it is available to any translation user in Eclipse, it ensures that every one of our users can provide accessibility to every one of their clients, no matter the situation that you're working in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll incorporate the cart window as a value added service or as an accessibility service for your clients. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Tech support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thanks so much and have a great day.